guru made for you. This lesson will be similar to the last lesson because we're going to use charts to make our two equations to solve word problems with a system of linear equations. So today we're going to solve age and chemistry problems. So let's get started. So our first problem. Next year, Bob will be two times as old as Rick. Four years ago, he was three times as old as Rick was. How old is each one now? So on the left, we're going to put the names. So we have Bob and we have Rick. So for the first one column, we want to know the age now. For the second column, we want to know what age you will be next year. And on the third column, we want to know what his age was four years ago. Alright, so we don't know what his age is now for Bob or Rick, so we're, let's assign variables to him. So X and Y. So for the age next year, if I'm two years old and I want to know what I, what I will be next year, you'll say three years old because we added one year to my age. So likewise, we can find what Bob will be next year by adding one to his current age. So we would get x plus one. And same with Rick. Rick will also be one year older, so y plus one. And for four years ago, if I am five and I want to know what I was four years ago, we would say one year old because we would have subtracted four from five, which is the current age. So likewise, Bob would be x minus four years four years ago. Same thing with Rick y minus 4. So now we can make our equations. So our first equation would be next year. So we look at the second column. Bob will be two times as old as Rick. So Bob, which is x plus 1, would equal two times Rick's next year age, which is y plus 1. And for the second one, it says four years ago. So we look at the third column. Four years ago, Bob was, so x minus 4, would equal 3 times y minus 4. So those are our two equations. And since we have two variables and two equations, we can now solve using any method you want. Don't use graphing because graphing takes a long time and it's just not efficient. So you can use any method to solve this. I'm going to use the addition and subtraction method. So I'm going to simplify the equations first. So x plus 1 would equal 2y plus 2. And x minus 4 would equal 3y minus 12. And I'm going to move all the variables to one side and all the constants to the other. So x minus 2y would equal 1 and x minus 3y would equal negative 8. So if I multiply this whole thing by negative 1, I would get negative x plus 3y equals. So the x's cancel out. So we're left with y is equal to 9 because negative 2 plus 3 is 1, and 8 plus 1 is 9. So y is equal to 9. Let's clear some space. Oops. So let's clear some space to figure out what x is. So, x, we just plug it back into the first equation. So, x plus 1 is equal to 2 times 9 plus 1. So, x plus 1 is equal to, to 9 plus 1 is 10, 2 times 10 is 20. 
So x would be equal to 20 minus 1, which is 19. So we know what x and y is. So therefore, Bob, and since Bob is x, Bob is 19, and Rick, since Rick is y, is 9. So that's how you solve age problems. Let's move on to chemistry. So, how many grams of gold should be added to 1,600 grams of an alloy of 30% gold to make an alloy that is 40% gold? So, on the left side, we're going to have our three things that we have. So, we have the 30% and we have the gold and we have the total, which is the 40%. In the first one, you put the amount, the amount, and then we put the percent of gold. And finally, we put the total gold. And this is very similar to what we did in the last lesson. So, of 30% gold, we have 1,600 grams, right, of a 30% gold. So, our amount for the 30% would be 1,600. And this is in grams. Everything is in grams. So, gold, we don't know how much gold we need to add to get the 40%, so that would be an X. Or you could choose any variable. You can choose P, you can choose A, you can use Z. You can choose any variable. I like X and Y because I don't know. So the total is Y because we don't know what how much 40% gold we're going to have either. So how much percent gold is in the 30% gold? Well, there's 30%. So 30% as a decimal is 0 0.3. And how much percent gold is in gold? Gold is pure gold. So it will be 100% gold. So 100% is just 1. So we have 1. 1.0. 1 and how much gold is in 40% gold? Well, 40%, so 0 0.4. And the total gold, we need to find by multiplying the first two columns. So the first one would be 1600 times 0 0.3, which would be... 4,800. I mean, 480. I'm sorry. It would be 480. Yeah. So, how much gold? One, so we um, multiplied at 1 and x, so we get x. And y times 0 0.4 is 0 0.4y. So, our first equation would be about the amount. So, we know that 1,600 plus x would equal y. That's our first equation. 1,600 plus x is equal to y. And the second one would be the total gold. So, 480 plus x would equal 0 0.4y. 480 plus x would equal 0.4y. Okay, so I'm going to use the elimination method again. So I'm going to put all the variables on one side and all the constants on the other. So we would have x minus y is equal to negative 1600. And for the second one, we would have x minus 0.4y would be equal to negative 480. So, I'll multiply this second one by negative 1 to get negative x plus 0 0.4y is equal to 480. So, the x's cancel out, so we're left with negative plus 0 0.4 is 0 0.6y is equal to, and 1600 Negative 1600 plus 480 is the same thing as 1600 minus 480 with the sine flip. So 
5 minus 4 is 1. So 11, 20 with the negative. So negative 1, 1, 2, 0 is 0 0.6y. So therefore, y would be equal to negative 1, 1, 2, 0 divided by 0 0.6. So that's the same thing as 1, 1, 2, 0, 0 0.6. So it's decimal division. 6, 5, T2. We have 6 times 8 is 48. So we have 4, 40. 6 times 6 is 36. So 36, we're left with 4, 40, 36, 1866.66 with the bar. So this would mean that we would have to add 1,800, y would be 1,866 and 2 thirds. 1866 and 2 thirds, because 0. 0.66666 is 2 thirds. So, let me clear this long division up. So, we know that y is 1,866 and 2 thirds, and 1,600 plus x is equal to y. So, 1,600 plus x is equal to 1,866 and 2 thirds. So, that means that x is equal to... 266 and 2 thirds. So, so, therefore, the amount of gold we would have to add, amount of gold we would have to add to get that 40% alloy would be 266. Therefore, we would have to add. 266 and two-thirds grams of gold. And that is our final answer. So, thanks for watching this video. Guru.